Hi viewers, uh, this is Susan Mwita uh, with True Living Show which comes via Sky Cable TV. Uh, we are just continuing and almost at the end with high blood pressure. So as we had talked on previous videos about high blood pressure, high blood pressure is when your blood pressure uh, pumps, you know, uh, more than it's supposed to be. Uh, your diastolic blood pressure and your systolic um, they are above what is supposed to be, but it also depends on the severity of your blood pressure or when you started it, when you are having it, or how it is, what is causing it and how it is going and how it's responding also to your body and if you are taking any medications, if you are also taking care of yourself with the diet, uh, other things, exercising, um, your lifestyle um, and uh, from there I know uh, we are continuing on the topic here and controlled high blood pressure can lead to complications including others um, others which previously we had also tackled about her heart attack which is also brought up by high blood pressure uh, also stroke aneurysm, uh, heart failure, weaken and narrowed blood vessels in your kidneys. And for today's show, uh, we'll also talk about the thickened, narrowed, or torn blood vessels in the eyes. So what I mean is, you know, um, on your eyes, you have veins, just like any other organ which has veins or which has arteries and um and other vessels so what i mean by vessels the blood vessels so that include the veins uh the arteries the capillaries so those are the vehicles which try which you know the blood passes through so you, you you know very well we know that the capillaries are the ones which takes the blood exactly to the ends of the cells and then the arteries and the veins and you know um, all things which the blood is passed by. So uh, one of the main problem we'll talk here which is also caused by high blood pressure because once the high blood pressure is high so even those vessels the blood passes through they are damaged and that's how at the end you end up having a heart attack or a stroke because the vessels where the blood was passing through uh, they ended up being damaged because they could not take that pressure either they were enlarged or they were blocked or you know they were teared and that's how you end up having a stroke on your head having heart attack on your heart having an aneurysm an aneurysm can happen anywhere but the most ones we usually know, or the major ones, is when they happen on your head or on your brains, when they happen also on your heart, and also also on the kidneys. We even have some aneurysm which happen even on your stomach, depending on the area. And right now we'll talk about how, you know, the vessels on your, on your eyes are messed up like on her eyes so um here we have a you know like this is one of the vessels you know when it's enlarged or becomes big then it's damaged and that's how on previous previous videos we had talked there were specific one video we had talked about you know about your eyes how they can be damaged by you, your high blood pressure so uh the eye once those vessels are damaged or they are broken or they are stressed or you know they become damaged that's how you end up not seeing well you have also other eye problems like glaucoma you know um then you you can even be legally blind you then you can become blind 
and then you know you you you, you might have broad short uh, eyes and that's part of blood pressure and that's why I'm emphasizing on making sure that once you know you have high blood pressure or you have been diagnosed with high blood pressure try to make it uh, become better lower it because there is so much bad things which can happen another one is you get metabolic syndrome and I'll put a paper here where you can see what it means to have uh, metabolic syndrome. So metabolic syndrome is defined by as having at least three of the five components. And right here we have one, two, three, four, five. So um, I'll just go to them quickly. So one of them is, you know, when you, you have are uh, elevated trigroxalides, you know, more than 150 milligram per DL. You know, like when the doctor does your blood work or, you know, a lab reads your blood work, when those kind of um, fats or trigroxalides are more than, or they are equal to 150 milligram per DL, then you have that metabolic syndrome. Another one is when you have a revested waist circumference, you know, when your weight is the circumference, especially for women, is more or 88 centimeters than the way you are supposed to be, and for men, one or two centimeters. Then the other one is um, you, are, you have a low HDL cholesterol which is less than 50 milligram, and that's, that's the good cholesterol if it's that too low. And for men, uh, for men, if it's less than 40, and for women, if it's less than 50 milligram per DL. Um, the other one is uh, elevated blood pressure. If your blood pressure is more than 130 milligram, all equal to on 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 diastolic and also if it's more than 85 milligram per mercury um or equal to that for uh systolic and then if you have a elevated uh fast glucose you know um you know, if your fasting uh, glucose is more than 100 when they check for you. Let's say, I know there were other videos we had talked about um, diabetes for type 2 diabetes. For those people who have uh, two type, type 2 diabetes, uh, we say that about uh, fasting uh, glucose, which here we are talking of elevated uh, fast glucose, is like if you slept last night at midnight you didn't eat anything and in the morning before you eat anything when they check your blood sugar it's more than a hundred milligram per DL then that means you are you are entering that metabolic syndrome uh, another thing uh, which we can talk about uh, which you know when you have high blood pressure things which go along is you know when most people who have high blood pressure uh, they have been on it for so long uh, they have trouble remembering things you know I think it's the way the condition is so if you realize you have a high blood pressure and all of a sudden you are forgetting things you are not even supposed to be forgetting then that's um, something to think about and then the dementia you know and dementia uh, it, it's like a mental problem and you know you know how, w what is uh, dementia and you, you can also say it goes together with the bad memory or not understanding well some simple things and you know dementia is like you don't understand what is going on or but that's a topic for another day which will feature in the future and for now um, 
This is Susan Mwita with True Reading Show, which comes via Sky Cable TV. It comes every 8 p.m. Eastern African time and 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, press the likes button and comment. And thank you for watching this show. Thank you.